I think I might have a bot addiction problem. Even though this bot was fantastic, I should not have let it use my LinkedIn account. Wait, so let's back up a bit here. So why was I interested in building this bot in the first place? So LinkedIn has this interesting feature that it will notify people when you watch their profiles. It sort of reminds me of that Facebook feature where we used to poke people. And this is the thing that got me interested in creating a bot that would have my profile visit 5,000 people's profiles. So I built this bot using a framework called Puppeteer, which lets you remote control a browser and code its behavior. So I would log into LinkedIn, look for links to profile pages, store every new profile in a queue, and keep track of all the visited profiles to never visit a profile twice. Unfortunately, there was a planned skiing trip that was trying to jam itself right in between me and my bot. So first I had to travel up north, go to this cabin, do all the normal cabin stuff that you do. Eventually the night came and I was planning to sit alone with a bot. But soon realized that one of my closest friends that was part of this trip was also a bot fan and was super excited to see this bot come to life and offered his profile page as the starting point for this bot which was great because he is an employee and a UX researcher at Spotify. So after 15 minutes I had already visited 600 profiles and the queue of profiles that I was going to visit was 1600. But it was at this exact moment that I realized I had up. So of course I panicked a little bit before I could read what the text actually said. And I think LinkedIn is pretty cool for giving you a second chance if you break the user agreements. Um, which I realized that I did. And that was not such a good idea. Uh, I would I would have been really sad if I had lost my LinkedIn profile because I use it a lot. Okay, so what should we learn from this? Well, I have no plans to stop creating bots. Occasionally I might be a little bit more careful. And I would like to end with a personal tip for you. When you make a hacky script like this, call it a bot instead. It makes it more fun. And it sounds so weird to have a relationship with a script.